So we've taken a look at Amazon refurbs. I give this refurb job a 10 out of 10. I'm a happy customer. Wish refurbs that they advertise as new. And as you've just seen, it's definitely not new. But what about your friendly neighborhood? Best Buy. Well, their online store. Best Buy has quite the rep when it comes to their online store. No quality assurance at all there. The refurbished phones we'll be looking at are refurbished by third party sellers, not Best Buy themselves. We're gonna scroll through this madness and I think we found a pretty good deal. This is an iPhone 11 Pro for $570 which is actually an okay deal compared to the local used market. And that's 570 Canadian, not American. The seller has an overall 3.9 star review rating, which seems to be decent, but there are a lot of one star reviews and there's also a lot of five star reviews, so it's hard to tell who to trust. I guess we'll have to buy it and find out. Leave a like on this video and I'll buy whatever you guys want me to next. We got the iPhone 11 Pro. We're gonna open this up and see how good Best Buy did. So they actually included a case as well, which is nice of them, I guess. And here we have the phone. It looks like it's just a generic white box and it says it's fully functional. We'll see if that's true. And that is it. It looks so dusty. It's not very pretty. They didn't do a good job with the packaging, but it's not too important. As long as the screen isn't scratched or anything like that, we'll, uh, we'll have to find out. We have the charging cube which appears to be Apple original 20 watt charger. We also have the charging cable, which also appears to be original, but it's really hard to tell these days. So it comes with the seal. We're gonna remove this. Right off the bat, we have a few small scratches on the screen. There's a scratch up here, up here, down there, but the overall cosmetic condition of the device actually appears to be pretty, pretty good. Can't lie. Because of this really, really deep scratch, I'm gonna have to rate this probably a 7 out of 10, not a 9 out of 10. So in that sense, their description was slightly inaccurate. It's time to turn this on and see what we're dealing with in terms of battery health and overall function. Okay, so we're greeted by the Hola screen. Hola, como estas? Uh, I don't know any German. We'll, we'll swipe up on the screen and we'll go through this setup. Right off the bat, I think the screen is actually Apple original. So that is a good sign. So we have the phone all set up. We're gonna let everything update and install. But the first thing we can do before we do that is check the battery health. 84%, not terrible, but not that great. The next step of this test is to put this through three U tools. So we're gonna be using the accessories they gave us. We're also gonna be doing a test on the actual accessory to see if it's genuine. We'll plug in the data cable and we'll plug in our phone. So on 3U tools, we're gonna to click iDevice and we're gonna pull up a verification report. So the verification report came up perfect. According to this verification report, the rear camera, the front camera, and the battery have not been changed. That doesn't mean the back glass or some other components haven't been changed. We'd have to open it up to find that out. We're gonna do a quick test on the actual data cable and see if that's, uh, original as well. According to 3U Tools, they actually gave us a genuine USB-C to lightning cable, which is really nice of them. The next step is to download an app that'll allow us to test all the functions of the phone. So the device passed all the tests. This app is actually very thorough. It even goes as far as to test the NFC. Everything on the outside looks fine. The software is all okay. Everything is working as it should, but we're gonna open this phone up and see how good of a job Best Buy really did. Unscrew. The reason I use this mat so much is because it can hold all your screws and it says PRG right over here. This is the moment of truth. Open it up. So on first inspection, the phone looks really good. Can't find any signs of imperfections. There is someone's fingerprint as usual, but aside from that, nothing, uh, nothing stands out to me right now. Now we're gonna do a full teardown and see what they actually fixed, if they fixed anything at all. That was a long teardown. So after inspecting every single aspect of this phone, I can't find any indication that anything was actually changed. The only real indication that someone's actually been in here is this little line over here. I'm not sure exactly what it is, but aside from that, this phone appears to be perfect and I am a happy customer, but I am gonna be kind of cautious when I talk about Best Buy Marketplace. 
For the most part, their marketplace is kind of unregulated and there's been a lot of issues in the past with these kind of refurbished devices. They also charge a 10% restocking fee for when you're trying to return the device and some people have complained that they charge for return shipping. Given that information, I'd have to advise you take caution before you do buy from Best Buy Marketplace. They also don't guarantee any battery health, so that's something you gotta keep in mind. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching. This has been us reviewing a Best Buy Marketplace phone. Don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, hit that bell button. And if you want to watch my last video, click right here. If you want to watch the video that YouTube thinks you should watch, click over here.